Now, China's one small step could be a giant leap for humanity, creating an artificial sun. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how China's recent launch of the artificial sun fusion reactor signifies a remarkable leap in technological achievement? This milestone not only showcases the nation's scientific prowess, but also emphasizes the visionary leadership of young scientists, with 75% of the team under 35. Their dedication highlights the pivotal role of the new generation in propelling China's advancements in science and technology. Moreover, there are even more remarkable aspects to uncover, so watch till the end. The Communist Party of China CPC, is a prominent political party that has played a crucial role in making China strong and prosperous. In the last decade, China has seen significant progress, and people are more confident and supportive of the CPC's leadership. The CPC is about to have its 20th National Congress with over 95 million members. This meeting is essential as it will guide the country's development and decision-making. One such story talks about a brilliant scientist heading China's artificial sun team. He explains how the CPC's ideas about scientific and technological innovation inspire him and his team. This reflects the ongoing efforts of the CPC in leading China into a new era of development. In 2020, a super smart team at the Southwestern Institute of Physics part of the China National Nuclear Corporation, made a significant breakthrough. They got their new artificial sun to work for the first time. This is a huge deal because it paves the way for China to build fusion reactors on its own. This achievement was so remarkable that it made it to the list of the top 10 news of scientific and technological progress in China in 2020. Even Xi Jinping, the leader of the Communist Party of China, gave it a thumbs up in 2021. Out of the 76 brainiacs working on this high-tech project, a whopping 57 of them are younger than 35, that's 75% of the team. And to top it off, on this year's May 4 Youth Day, they bagged the 26th China Youth May 4th Medal Collective. These young scientists spilled the beans in a chat with the Global Times. They shared stories about how they, as young Chinese scientists, cracked through the tech challenges from other countries, filled in the gaps right here at home, and chased after China's big dream of fusion energy. The artificial sun isn't just cool science stuff, it's like our dream energy source. Zhang Wuliu, the deputy director of the Center of Fusion Science, spilled the beans in an exclusive chat with the Global Times. He explained that this artificial sun is loaded with benefits, tons of resources, eco-friendly vibes, and it's super safe. Having it as our go-to energy source can fix a bunch of energy and environmental issues. The government is all in on this too. They've put controlled nuclear fusion research in their big plan. Once they crack the code, it's like a constant flow of clean, safe, and powerful energy for everyone. It's like leveling up our energy game. Even though controlling this fusion reaction is a bit tricky compared to what we've been doing with nuclear power plants. Zhang says it sounds simple, but turning it into an energy powerhouse is a mega challenge. Here's the deal. To make this work, the plasma, that's super hot ionized gas, needs to have the right combo of temperature, density, and energy confinement time. They call it the triple product. Why? because that's what makes the fusion reaction release enough energy to keep the whole thing rolling. The only real deal fusion reactor in the world right now is the International Thermonuclear Fusion Experimental Reactor, ITER, and it's still in the building phase. The idea behind it is to have countries join forces and figure out if we can really use fusion energy for peaceful and influential purposes. So, China has this incredible plan for nuclear energy, like a three-step strategy. One big goal is to make their fusion energy reactors, and they're calling it the artificial sun. Well, guess what? They finished making it in Chengdu on December 4, 2020, and even got it to produce its first plasma. This is a big deal because it shows that China can do everything on its own, design, build, and run this fancy tokamak thing. Basically, they've got the hang of making advanced fusion devices. This achievement sets them up nicely for the next step, where they plan to design and build their fusion reactors. 
This new artificial sun is like a high-tech gadget with different parts, kind of like how your phone has a bunch of components. There's this special vacuum chamber, which is like the fancy shell that creates a super vacuum space for the artificial sun experiment. Even more vacuum than outer space. Now, when they were making this vacuum thing, the team faced some challenges. They went to about 10 big manufacturing companies, hoping to get suitable materials. But guess what? Those companies said it was too harsh to make because it needed super precision, was complicated to manufacture, and they didn't have the experience for it. But the team didn't give up. They tackled these problems, made breakthroughs in designing the device, found unique materials, and fixed vital components. So after figuring out all the fancy design details, the team turned those plans into drawings. These drawings helped factories make the vacuum chamber by hand, like following a recipe to bake a cake. Now this was a challenging ride. It took the team six whole years of hard work and exploration. But guess what? They made China's first ultra-high vacuum vessel, shaped like a D. And get this, the technical stuff they pulled off is top-notch and on par with the best in the world. To make sure their artificial sun performs like a superstar in experiments, the team faced even more significant challenges. The whole process became trickier and more complex. But you know what? The team didn't back down. They stuck to it, tackled challenging problems, and even broke through barriers that other countries had put up. It's all about that team's spirit and determination, making China shine in the world of technology. The US wasn't playing nice and stopped selling us the super strong bolts we needed for our artificial sun. But no worries, we didn't give up. We dove into tons of research, compared materials like crazy, did thousands of trial productions, and guess what? We cracked the code. We made our own extensive strong bolts. And get this, it cost us way less, almost 90% less. Now back in 2006, China, along with the European Union, the US, Russia, Japan, South Korea, and India, teamed up for this mega project called ITER. It's one of the biggest and most significant science projects globally, and China is in it as an equal player, contributing about 9%. More than 70% of our contribution is in the form of making and developing components for ITER. We're not just tagging along. We're a big deal in the fusion research world. So check it out. China's been rocking it in this significant international fusion project called ITER. They're doing their tasks right, on time, and everyone's giving them a thumbs up. This guy Zhang, who's part of the Artificial Sun team, thinks it's not just about contributing. China is also learning tons from other countries in this fusion experiment stuff. CNSE, a prominent Chinese company, snagged the main construction deal for ITER. It's like they're putting together the heart of this fusion device. The Artificial Sun team is sending their experts to help out with the installation, handling some unique processes like pros. And get this. Over the past decade, China has gone from playing catch-up to running side-by-side -side with other countries in fusion research. They even lead the pack in some essential tech areas. Zhang is all about praising the talent they've nurtured in the Artificial Sun team, giving credit to the measures taken by the Chinese government in driving these tech innovations. According to Zhang, talent is the real game-changer in tech innovation. He's all for answering the call from the Communist Party of China, sticking to the goal of developing fusion energy, and pushing for self-reliance in science and tech. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.